In today's video, we're going to be installing the S24 Ultra Whitestone Dome Screen Protector. If you want to purchase one, check out the link below and you can get 10% off using Dome24. Now, if you've not seen a Whitestone Dome installation before, they can be fairly tricky. However, if you just take your time and follow each step carefully, you'll have a completely bubble-free screen protector that will not come off. Right, let's jump into it. Now, the first step you'll want to do is install these black stickers to protect your phone from any liquid. To do this, just peel one side of the sticker so a little bit is showing, pop them near your buttons, and then just make sure they line up straight on the phone. Then, once you're happy, just sort of turn them around and pull them down the rest of the phone to protect the buttons. Repeat this for the ports, the S Pen, and the microphones at the top of the device. So as you can see, the buttons, microphone, S Pen and charging port are all now protected. The next thing you'll want to do is grab the frame and the little sponges and insert them in. So you'll need to insert these in the left, right and bottom of the frame. Next up, we need to clean the device before we pop it in the installation frame. First of all, grab the wet wipe and wipe the screen. Now grab the microfiber cloth and dry the screen of any moisture. And then finally, grab your dust stickers and dab them on the display where there's any dust or debris. Now you can pop your phone into the installation tray, making sure the bottom part of the phone matches up with the bottom part of the tray. Next up, you'll need to grab this little gray plastic part and pop this in at the top of the installation frame. Then grab your speaker protection film and then place this over the part you've just popped onto the tray. I'd advise using this plastic top pin to ensure that the film is placed down onto the phone to protect the speaker port. Next up, grab that same piece of plastic and place it into the top of the frame. Next up, grab the bridge and place this into the installation frame. At this stage, make sure you check that there's no dust or anything else that's fallen onto your screen, as this will cause issues during the installation. If you do see any dust on your screen, just grab the dust sticker again and dab it on to remove it. Next up, grab one of the tubes of adhesive, then unscrew the gray plastic end, then place this into the bridge. Don't worry, it won't start pouring out until you undo the back cap as well. Once you're happy, you can unscrew the back This will release the liquid. Leave it for around 30 seconds to make sure all of the liquid comes out. Once you're happy, replace that cap, remove the tube and bridge. Next up, grab your screen protector and your weighted rubber. Remove the protective film from the screen protector then place your screen protector on your device, ensuring the camera cutout is at the top of the frame. If your adhesive hasn't come down to the bottom of the phone yet, just tilt the frame towards you until it starts to move towards you. Now, place your rubber in the center of the screen and pull the pin from the top. The next step is to cure the UV adhesive. To do this, grab the UV lamp and a battery bank or power source, then press the button once to turn it on for 15 seconds. Do this for the bottom, 
middle and top of the device. Now that the first curing process is done, you'll want to remove the device from the frame, give it a little clean, then do it again, but for 60 seconds each this time. To get the light to turn on for 60 seconds, just press it twice. Now the curing process is finished, you can now remove any protective film. At this point, you may want to grab the microfiber cloth and just give it a wipe over as well. And that's how to install a Whitestone Dome screen protector on your S24 Ultra. If you want to purchase one, check out the link below and you can get 10% off using Dome24.